Good morning everyone, uh, this is Deirdre O'Rourke here from Awakenings Hypnotherapy Life and Mind Coaching and welcome to my webinar today. And today we are looking at stress and saying goodbye to stress. We'll just look at a few easy ways of making stress, dealing with stress a bit easier in our life and we'll finish up with the uh, stress hypnotherapy session and hopefully it will help you relax a bit and um, ease you gently into a, a nice sunny enough Sunday. Um, okay, so just on stress, it's increasingly becoming recognised that stress is a major factor in health, job performance and making success of relationships and lots of other areas. Mental attitudes give rise to physical stress due to the re release of specific stress hormones which have a variety of knock-on effects on the bodily processes. And then the body in turn affects the mind because contorted muscles and disrupted blood chemistry feed back the message that all is far from well. And just add to this then the fact that stress causes sleeplessness and therefore exhaustion and you have a recipe for unhappiness, impaired functioning and even in some cases breakdown. Okay, now hypnotherapy is a, a good response for, for stress because it relaxes the body, the mind and everything and that's what we will look at here today. Now I don't know what your views are in, on hypnosis. What is hypnosis? Hypnosis can be defined as an altered state of awareness. It may in itself resemble sleep, but only superficially, for a hypnotised person is definitely not asleep. It's a condition that also involves increased responsiveness and suggestibility, and in which the inner world of the imagination and feelings is granted a degree of importance, usually given to only to outward ordinary reality. What's important to note is that under hypnosis, no stress hormones are released. So the breathing and the heart rate slow down and blood pressure drops. The stomach produces less acid and the bronchi dilate within the lungs. And it seems too that hypnosis may boost the immune system because within the blood vessels of the hypnotized subject, the production of white blood cells is increased. And these defensive cells cling more firmly to the insides of veins and arteries. So there's a lot of, of, of good that can be done to the body and bring it down to a very stress-free level through hypnosis. And then in itself, hypnosis is actually a very ordinary and remarkable state. You enter and come out at several times a day. Um, think of yourself getting in your car to drive to work. The car nearly drives itself. Um, you're in a trance fixation or you're daydreaming out the window. So it is very normal um, occurrence. Now we look at um, the fight or flight response. When something causes you to feel stressed, your first reaction is a sense of alarm. And this is often followed by some form of resistance to the perceived threat. Chronic stress is caused by the body being unable to gain respite from the biochemical changes that arise as a result of fight or flight messages from the adrenaline glands. So just to equate, it may be hard to see how losing your keys could evoke fight or flight. Yet, at a subconscious level, loss of your keys as you're running on the door, out the door late for work will be experienced as almost as much of a threat as meeting a tiger in the jungle. In respect of the tiger, the flight or flight response could be use useful to enable someone to escape or kill the tiger. But the primitive parts of the brain remember that the world is a jungle and that we are surrounded by dangers. So when the underlying conviction that life is a scary business is activated by losing your keys, for example, your response may be all out of proportion to the incident. Feeling ashamed after such an incident can also add to the stress. However, there is a logic to the way you feel and it is about self-preservation. And once you realise this, you can accept your feelings and work towards stabilising them. So looking at stress itself, stress and body changes. When you become stressed, many changes take place within your body. Blood flow to your brain increases and blood is directed away from your extremities to your trunk and head. Your breathing becomes sharper and your hands and feet sweat. Your heart rate rises and your breathing quickens. Generally, your muscles tense 
over your entire body. Your sight becomes keener and your brain speeds up so that you react much faster than usual. Some people react quickly and with precision, but others, their reactions may be unwise and counterproductive. Stress itself can take its toll on the whole body. A bad back can result from holding yourself stiffly when stressed. When stressed, every organ in the body is bombarded by adrenaline and every muscle is crippled by tension. Thus, we can take the view that stress can be a factor to any illness. Learning to relax and using hypnotherapy to intensify that relaxation, along with increased enjoyment of life, not only may it improve your quality of life generally, but may even prolong it. We need to relax. Life is so busy, we have all these demands coming at us from every angle and how to say no and how to just stand back. Learning to relax is probably one of the most important skills that we can learn in life. Relaxation enhances mental and intuitive powers. Relaxation will flow more smoothly if you have your subconscious mind on your side. Your subconscious is like is childlike and learns by repetition. Develop a routine of practicing relaxation. Just even 10 minutes a day, 10 minutes daily is much better than one hour or two at the weekends. So take 10 minutes. Instead of scrolling through that latest news feed, just take those few minutes to relax. And just a quick little relaxation that you could do in 10 minutes. Settle down, bring, close your eyes, bring awareness to your body. Note those areas of tension and relax them. Feel a sensation of warmth beginning in your toes, coming up to your feet, into your ankles, heels, calves, knees and thighs. Flowing into your pelvis and abdomen, up your chest and the length of your back, caressing your shoulders, flowing down your arms, into your hands and fingers and up over your scalp and face. The thoughts into your mind don't fight them. Instead, imagine they are butterflies and let them flutter in and out again. Or imagine that there are images flickering across the screen. Acknowledge the thought. Then you detach yourself from it. What you are concentrating on is your body and its comfort. Keep reminding yourself about this and forgive yourself if you get distracted and tense up. You will eventually get the hang of it. This will only take you a few minutes every day. There are some hypnotherapy exercises that you can do that are teamed up with mo movement, such as yoga, tai chi. And if you're someone who finds it hard to remain still, then some these sort of exercises be the per perfect preparation for a state of deep relaxation for you. Then to remember to breathe. Breath, our breath is the most precious thing that we have. It gives us life but it also is something that can control any situation. Your breath is the most easily accessible stress alleviator that you have, and it is always in hand and always in your control. Breath is a great marker of where your anxiety level is at throughout the day. Short, shallow breaths signify stress and anxiety. On the flip side, conscious breathing plus lengthening and strengthening the breath helps send signals to the brain that it's okay to relax. If you start feeling anxious, check in with your breathing. Try circular breathing, which is in through the nose and out through the mouth. Imagine your body as an empty, empty bottle and that each breath, breath you are taking is like water pouring in from the bottom of your belly all the way up. There, this one doesn't suit you, there are other various easy to access types of breathing. Breathing awareness, place your hands on your abdomen and breathe through your nose. Be aware of your breath. Don't change the rhythm, simply focus on the process. Is your breath rough or smooth? How does the air feel as it enters and leaves your nostrils? We have breath lengthening. Count how long your breaths are taking and slowly lengthen your exhalation until it takes twice as long as your inhalation. Do not strain. Do this a few times 
and then gradually go back to the original count. Humming breath. As you breathe out, make sound like the bee humming in flight. Experiment with pitches until you find one that feels good. This will make you feel warmer and comforted. When you're ready to stop, do so gradually. And let the hum become quieter and quieter until all that is left is a faint sigh. Alternate nostril breathing is a very handy one for calming down when you're in a stressful situation in work on a phone call or something. Press your right hand thumb against your right nostril and breathe out gently and slowly through the left nostril. Move your thumb and breathe in through both nostrils, closing your throat slightly so that your in-breath hisses, rather like the sound of the sea in a seashore cave. Now close your left nostril by breathing with the ring and little fingers of your right hand and exhale. Move your fingers away and breathe in, making the same hissing sound. Repeat six times and making your breath relaxed and gentle. The more stress-busting strategies you have, the better. You'll find that some are more effective than others. But being assertive is one strategy balanced between aggression and passivity. If you're assertive, you say what you want to say, you feel listened to, and you maintain your self-esteem, all without the confrontation or losing your temper. Be assertive by standing up for yourself without attacking others and expressing yourself honestly and directly. Make positive statements, not negative ones. Thus, example, you never talk to me because I would like to sit down and spend some time together. Be specific. Use assertive, relaxed body language by standing tall with your shoulders loose and meeting the eye of the person you're speaking to without staring them out. If you don't feel heard, repeat what you're saying quietly, pleasantly and persistently. Avoid stress by saying no assertively. Prioritise tasks ruthlessly. If the most important are tackled first, you are less likely to feel hassled. Understand that interruptions are part of life and give yourself brownie points for dealing with them. Make one decision each day. Start with small things. That feels best and ensure that each day has space for me time. And then finally, become aware of negative thoughts. List them and realise how destructive they are. And if they are becoming overwhelming, then there are exercises in mind lessons that you can do to deal with them. Now, if you'd like to sit back and we'll do a calming and relaxation hypnotherapy. Just make sure you're not going to be disturbed and close your eyes. Sit in a comfortable position, your feet firmly on the ground. And just repeat the following to yourself and say to yourself silently in your head. Because I am relaxing pleasantly and keeping with me as much of this calmness and relaxation as I need in daily life. The inner feeling of calmness and relaxation is staying with me. In fact, as each day is going by, I feel I am becoming more and more mentally calm, more and more physically relaxed, and so my mind is crystal clear. Everything and everyone is easier to deal with. Naturally at times, and people can be a, a challenge, but everything and everyone is manageable. My mind is free, my mind is positive, my mind is free. And as the day goes on, and as the days will go on, I feel more and more mentally calm. So I feel I'm becoming more and more physically relaxed. And as the days go by, and I'm feeling more mentally calm and physically relaxed, it's only to be expected that I'm feeling more confident. Because confidence comes from mental calmness and physical relaxation. As the days are going by and I'm feeling more mentally calm and physically relaxed. 
so I'm feeling more confident. More confident to myself, more confident to my ability to cope with things and people. Above all, more confident about my future. And as I become, and as I remain, more mentally calm and physically relaxed, so my body remembers that feeling of tranquility and is there for me whenever I need it. I am calm and relaxed in all situations. I simply recall relaxation. My mind is tranquil. I remain relaxed. So as the day is going by, and I feel I'm becoming more mentally calm and physically relaxed. So I am dealing with anyone and any situation more and more smoothly and serenely. And the reason why I'm dealing with things so smoothly is because I am calm and relaxed. And as the day is going by, I'm noticing, maybe in small ways at first, but definitely noticing that I truly am dealing smoothly and serenely with everything and everyone. And this proves to me that I'm calm, relaxed, confident and happy. And it's showing me that any challenges I have been experiencing are slipping way into the past where they truly belong. And I'm finding there are so many benefits to this inner feeling of calmness, relaxation and confidence. My mind is free and my body relaxed. I find so many things in life to enjoy. I can be myself. And these are just some of the many, many benefits that I am finding as a result of my new inner feeling of calmness, relaxation and confidence. And now, in a few minutes, I'm going to ask you to come back to the present time and the present place. And slowly, you can awaken and go about the rest of your day. As I count from one to five, you will awaken, feeling completely fresh and alert and ready to allow these suggestions to work for you. One, you're coming back up. Two, body a good stretch. Three, you're almost there. Four, you're coming back round. And five, eyes open, wide awake, eyes open, feeling completely refreshed and alert. Welcome back. Breathe, relax, feel the calm. I hope you enjoyed today's session. And I hope you are ready to say goodbye to stress. The hypnotherapy we did today is very good self-hypnosis hypnotherapy that if you want to um, log on to my Facebook Wake News Coaching, you can find today's recording and listen to it yourself. The more you listen to it, the more it digs deep into your subconscious. I'll help you in any situation where you feel stress arising and on an overall level, reduce your stress. Um, on a daily basis. Again, I'm Deirdre O'Rourke, hypnotherapist, life and mind coach with Awakenings. And uh, for further talks and hypnotherapies, check out my website um, www.awakeningscoaching.ie, my Facebook Live, which you're on today, um, facebook.com, Awakenings Coaching, or if you want to contact me for further information or for further short meditations, on our hypnosis, contact me at awakenings coaching. Actually, it's an S after that. At gmail.com. I'd love to hear from you. Just thank you for being such a good listener today, and I hope your day goes really well and is stress free as you've said goodbye to stress. Thank you so much.